Hi guys, Jody here. Hope you're having a great day. Um, I have been talking about posting a, um, a video just with swatches of my Inglot Freedom 10 palette or 10 Freedom palette number two. Um, about a month ago, I think I bought my very first one and uh, I've re swatched the 10 colors that I got in that palette. Um, and I'm so happy with them. That would be, I would say, my Inglot equivalent of the Urban Decay Naked palette. I love it. Um, there's just, it's, you know, beautiful, nice matte white, a nice frosty white, a gold, champagne, um, something more like, you know, half-baked and smog and um, just some gorgeous and even some purples in there as well. So I'm just finding that a really versatile palette. I'm finding uh, the Inglo eyeshadow is really creamy, really pigmented, really beautiful to blend and they do last all day. They're just beautiful. Uh, and I did mention in a recent video of an Inglot haul that the prices of the 10 pan palettes have gone up in Australia from $85 to $95 and there is now a 20 pan palette that is available in that same freedom system um, for $180 so um, I think that price increase I guess was not just the UK I'm not sure if America is having the the same thing um, but I think my friends and family who have purchased any Inglot 10 pan palettes um, with the freedom system in America um, I think they're paying less than 60 after all discounts and shipping included online so anyway um, on to it this is the let's see this is the um, second palette that I purchased and I took the first palette along with me just to make sure that everything complemented each other that I wasn't getting a duplicate or a shade that was you know so close to something that I already had um, so this is what I came up with as far as complementary colors keeping in mind obviously that the, that we're going into fall and winter and um, gosh by the end of it my arms were just covered in swatches and um, I had a couple of shop assistants helping me and which I didn't want at first but it ended up being a really good thing they were very helpful as far as um, you know avoiding colors that I could mix with you know like another two that were in the, the palette like I think I had this one and a lighter version of that and I thought you know they'd go really nicely together I could put the lighter peach you know on the eyelid and then use this one you know maybe more in the corner or something like that and she just showed me that you know by mixing this one and this one I could get something that was really similar so that's they were actually very helpful for that. I'm someone who does not normally rely on shop assistants help and I, I you know, take their advice with a, a grain of salt really. There's obviously a um, commercial and financial bias sometimes, probably less so in Australia, but America and the tipping system and commissions and all of that stuff have just made me a little wary. Uh, and it's probably not even that way at Inglot, but they were actually helpful in the end. So enough blabbing, onto the palette. I will start um, swatching. So the first colour um, I got is DS501. DS501 is, um, I would say, a colour that is inspired by Gina Bina Wiener. She's always got like this light lavender eyelid that just makes her look so awake and it's so beautiful. So that is like a silvery, um, a silvery sort of lavender color there and um, hopefully yeah that is showing up nicely um, it does have a little bit of sparkle in it quite pretty probably like their blushes I'm wondering if that would blend away um, next color is the DS 463 if you can see that there the base is actually a really nice sort of cream matte cream and then it does have some glitters some fine sort of gold glitters in it really really pretty 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 color looking forward to seeing that well I've, I've worn that on the lid actually and um, and really enjoyed it so um, the next colors I've got a sort of darker green color I thought that would complement a lot of the colors and the bronzes that I have in my first palette that is it there darker green that is um, pearl 419 did I say that that was um, DS501, no sorry, DS501, DS463, um, and then this one is the Pearl 419. Next one is that um, colour that I thought was going to look quite nice over Rubenesque Paint Pot. I won't shut up about that, but I know I'm going to find the right combination. This is um, 
Pearl 407 and it's a really pretty peachy um, shimmery with like a gold duochrome color really pretty and that is more of a sort of frosty color those last two that green and that um, peach are sort of more frosty colors next one is a lighter green that I thought would complement that um, dark green it reminds me of that sort of light shimmery green that's in the Too Faced romantic eye palette um, this is really pretty really pretty green if you can see that that color is AMC shine 06 and just really really pretty then I've got a nice sort of chocolatey brown that um, it looks like a chocolatey brown with sort of gold glitters in the pan it goes on sort of quite plummy that's it there and that is AMC 54 really pretty nice warm warm brown um, then I go into some more sort of um, plummy colors like a burgundy sort of color you can see how sort of vibrant that is compared with that brown that I just showed you that is the pearl 452 really really pretty I don't think I've tried that one yet actually need to um, followed by and this is one of the sort of rare true mattes. My one complaint about my Inglot store, at least in Garden City here in Western Australia, is that there's really not a whole lot of mattes. Um, so I did try and get some more of them this time. This is the matte 363 and that's sort of just a nice dark sort of purpley colour. Cool, nice cool tone there. And then to round out the sort of purples, I've got this more sort of bright purple if you can see there. Just a uh, that's called the Pearl 399, just a nice sort of light pinky, pinky plum, I would say. And then the tenth colour I got um, was, I guess, I guess it's sort of closer to maybe like a satin taupe, Mac satin taupe kind of colour. I have to do some comparisons. Um, this is the Pearl 402. You can see that there, the Pearl 402. So I did say in the first um, video that I made of my first Inglot palette that I would do a video of um, you know any MAC dupes that I found and I quickly sort of went away to my MAC collection and just compared with the swatches anything and I couldn't really find any obvious exact dupes but what I thought I might do is um, make a video down the track just showing you at least just how they compare so that you have a frame of reference as well so even though you know that might not be a dupe for satin taupe just putting them side by side for you so you can see how they compare I thought that might be helpful for some of you out there so um, Gosh, I think that's been stuck to my lip for a while there. Um, and so, yeah, that, just holding them next to each other. So that um, is the new palette of 10 versus the first palette that I got. Hoping that they um, just complement each other quite well. They obviously, you know, the magnetic closures all um, stick to each other nicely. So I keep them together on the shelf. Really enjoying them. Um, tried my first Inglot blush today and really enjoyed that. I will keep you posted and they might just show in a future favourites video. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have a beautiful day and we'll see you again really soon. Bye.